A young man that would uh, date rape or acquaintance rape someone? I've looked into that in, in my research. And in I think that's probably one of the most important things that came out of doing the work was to give people a way and give people permission to talk about it. Rape affects Decades far after more defining the phenomenon of date of rape, Regents Professor Mary Koss's research it into sexual assault continues to break new ground and inspire her critics. Uh, I've been called a feminazi. I've been called a betrayer of feminism. I've been accused of prostituting my intelligence. Just a part of pushing the envelope, says her boss, Marie Swanson. She's thinking way ahead of anybody else in the world in this topic. Public policy changes from the Violence Against Women Act to worldwide use of her assessment tools are testimony to Mary's scholarship. The research that Mary Koss has done throughout her whole life, not just here in the U.S., but literally around the world, has made a difference for the health and safety of women. More recently, her focus has been on the psychology of rape recovery. One of the biggest predictors of, of women who've been raped, have how severe their consequences are going to be and how long-lasting, is how much they blame themselves. Traditional justice, she thought, could not always address these issues. One night I woke up in the middle of the night and said, how can you go through an adversarial justice system if the proceedings are constructed in such a way that you, you know, you'll be subjected to a lot of treatment that ends up exacerbating the extent to which you feel at fault? In collaboration with other community agencies, Mary created Restore, a unique service that facilitates direct dialogue. So the survivor gets a chance to say to the guy, this is what you did to me and this is the effect it's had on my life. And he has to really listen because he then has to say, this is what I did to you and this is the effect it's had on you. And everybody gets to talk, the family, his, you know, maybe his parents, um, because restorative justice believes that a crime has an effect on the whole community. She has, is, is part of a, a new recognition of what we need to do differently to work with survivors better and to provide more accountability for offenders. Fieldwork helps to engage her public health students. So they have some direct experience in not just the research project, but they can see how a community intervention works, how a very specific one works, and really track it all the way from how do you set up a project like this to the end result, which is public policy. How the media handles statistics. I want them to learn how to be critical about the things they read, because not everything that's published in a professional journal is good. But at the same time, I really want them to learn how to take that and translate that into something that's useful to people who don't have advanced education. She and her husband raised two sons and have, over the years, supported many arts groups. Now empty nesters, they've found new ways to devote time to the arts. I'm, you know, really concerned about what's going to happen to my brain if I lie on the sofa too, too much and watch TV. I, I really tried those uh, those n number puzzles, and, and I have to confess that they just don't grab me. You have to have things that remind you that human beings can collaborate for wonderful good, and it counteracts the evil we see around us every day.